Hi friends, welcome to Fabulous Chef. In today's video, let's see how to make a delicious tomato kuruma. So let's see the ingredients first. I have taken about 10 tomatoes, about 2 large onions which is finely chopped, about 2 medium sized pieces of ginger, about 6 garlic cloves, 3 pieces of cinnamon sticks, two bay leaves about 10 cloves about 1 tablespoon of fennel seeds 1 teaspoon of stone flour about 4 green chilies which is split into 2 and 1 full coconut which is and freshly grated now let's boil the tomatoes in a pressure cooker with some salt and water for about 5 whistles and keep it aside. Now take a mixer jar and grind the fennel seeds and ginger garlic together. I have taken 1 tablespoon of fennel seeds, 6 garlic cloves and some ginger and grind it into a fine paste. Now you can see that the tomatoes are well cooked. Now remove the tomatoes from the cooker and keep it in a separate pan. Allow it to cool. When the tomatoes are cool enough, let's remove the peel and keep it aside. When you are able to handle the tomatoes, just remove the peel off and grind it into a fine paste in a mixer jar. Now take a pan. When the pan is nice and hot, add about 3 tablespoons of oil. Now you can see that the oil is nice and hot. Now let's start adding the other ingredients. Let's add about 3 large pieces of cinnamon sticks. Add 2 bay leaves, about 10 cloves, about 1 teaspoon of stone flour. The stone flour gives a nice flavor to this tomato kuruma. Now let's add the 2 large onions which is chopped. also add the green chilies which is lit. I have added about 4 green chilies. You can alter the spice according to your taste. Stir fry all the ingredients together. Now let's add the curry leaves. and stir fry till the onions are nice and golden brown. Meanwhile, let's grind the tomatoes. Now take a large mixy jar. Let's start adding the peeled tomatoes and grind it into a fine paste. Now you can see that the onions are nice and golden brown. Now let's add the ginger garlic paste along with the fennel and stir fry it. At this stage, let's add the mashed tomatoes. Now mix all the ingredients together. Mm. 
This gravy is a very good side dish for idli, dosa and also for chapati. Now add salt according to your taste. And also add about half a teaspoon of chilli powder. Mix all the ingredients together and stir well. Now let's add the water from the pressure cooker in which we boil the tomatoes and add it into the pan. Let it boil for about 10 minutes so that all the raw smell goes away. Also check the seasoning. When it's boiling, let's prepare the coconut paste. Now take another mixie jar, add the grated coconut into the mixie and grind it into a fine paste. Add water little by little so that the coconut paste is nice and thick. You can see that our coconut paste is nice and thick. Now you can see that our gravy has been boiling for about 10 minutes. At this stage let's add the coconut paste. This gives a nice thickness to the gravy and also a nice flavour. After adding the coconut paste, mix all the ingredients together. Let it boil for another 2-3 to three minutes till our gravy comes to the right consistency. You can see our gravy is perfect. Now let's garnish it with some coriander leaves. It should not be too watery, it should be nice and thick. That's it friends, our delicious tomato kurma is ready. Do try this recipe. It's a very good side dish for idli, dosa and also for chapati. Like, subscribe to my channel and leave your comments below.